Dude, I feel like I got a tire. Just doing things that are different this time of year helps get bites. Oh, he's bound up in something. He's hung up in something. I think I still got him on. Get her in the net, get her in the net, get her in the net, get her in the net. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Mystery Tackle Box channel. My name is Brett. I'm from the Bee Fishing Outdoors channel. I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for letting me take over today. We are going to try to do the slam this morning. It's super early in the morning. The sun just cracked over. We got a little bit of overcast. So I'm hoping we got some really good baits in here that'll work under these conditions. First, the first thing I see, the Yodo Worm. Brand new bait. That's going to slay today. Oh my goodness. We got the Filthy Frog. Uh, we've got some Lake Fork, some little wacky worms there. We've also got these headbanger rocker heads. Those are gonna be awesome. We've got a swim jig. We've got some gambler. This looks like a punching style bait right here. Holy crap, this thing is huge. Look at this. We've got the death wish, little tattletale swim baits. My goal for today is to not pair anything up. And with this unboxing, we're actually gonna think outside of the box with these baits. I'm gonna show you some different ways to uh, fish these that aren't aren't exactly traditional. So let's think outside the box, let's get on the water, let's go. All right, folks, so early morning, we're gonna start with the old Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. I can already see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but we've got shad all over the place, so let's get in there. That was just a splash. Got him. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, he came off. Dead gummit. Whew. That was exciting. That at least got the blood pumping. Really wish I would have got him in the boat. Gosh. Came off. Whew. All right, let's get back in there. That was exciting. Just right up that cut. All right, guys. So I'm putting down the frog for just a second. I am actually going to switch to these guys right here the death wish which is a little morbid but you know what we'll work with it i am not getting bit on the frog right now i got one bite and he got off right at the boat so we're gonna we're gonna try to go with some confidence here we're gonna we're gonna gain back some confidence i could use this on a trailer or something i could use this on a number of things just a little jig head i'm actually gonna put this on an underspin again we're trying to do things a little different so this is not going to be weedless or anything i'm gonna put this on an underspin i'm gonna choke up on it real tight we got double eyes going but i think that's gonna work let's go with this underspin and let's just try it again i'm just trying to do things outside the box i'm actually not even sure an underspin is actually outside the box but we're gonna say it's outside the box i got one he hit that so subtle, he's not big, ah, but he's a fish. Woo. We are on the board. That took a lot of work, boys. Took a lot of work. Barely hooked, too. All right, Death Wish done. Again, on the uh, on the little underspin. Think outside the box with some of this stuff. Don't just put like a weighted swim hook on there. You can uh, you can do pretty much anything with these paddle tails. Thanks, buddy. Let's move on. All right, folks, so we're going with the uh, rocker head here. I'm actually gonna put that on a new bait, and that is the old Exopod. There's so many different things you can fish this thing on. You can actually put paddle tails on this. You can put fluke tails on this rocker head. I mean, you can put literally any kind of trailer you want. It's just, I really like the idea of getting bit on this thing right here. It's a newer bait. These fish are chasing shad. It's white. I mean, it's got all the makings of a of a classic hookup here. That rocker head's gonna give it some erratic action. I am pretty pumped about the uh, odds of us hooking up on this thing. Look at that, looks delicious. Got one. Oh, he's a, oh, yeah, there we Yep, got one. There we go, rocker head. Sort of yo-yoing it through those trees right there. Oh, look at that, he's barely, he's barely hooked in the lip right there. That's another one done, rocker head. Nice, short and chunky, look at that guy. Thanks bud. On to the next. 
All right, so the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move on to the Yoto worm. Now there, again, a million ways to fish this thing. Like, for real, a million ways. That little flicker tail, you put that on a shaky head, that's gonna be great. You put it on a Texas rig, it's got the, the blunt head right there to go on a Texas rig. It can literally be a trailer for anything. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a drop shot. So we're gonna fish this thing on a drop shot and we're gonna see if we can't get bit with it. All right, so I've got a little standout hook. You can pick that up at Shop Carl's. I personally think my hookup ratio has gone through the roof since I've started using the standout hook. So we're just gonna go, I actually rig drop shots like this. I go through the nose, come out the top, just like that. That's a pretty big bait, but I think we can get bit on it. Oh, fish. There we go. He ain't huge, but we got him. Thanks, buddy, for the net job. I actually had him hooked perfectly right through the upper lip right there. Whew, that's what I'm talking about. Not a giant, but a nice fish on the Yoto worm right there. That is another one down. That's three baits down. We've got four more to go. I'm really, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm starting to get worried about that frog, but we're gonna give it a, we're gonna give it the old college try. Yeah, can I put a frog on a drop shot? That would be awesome. So this one's, this one's gonna be different. I think I'm gonna go with the gambler bait right here. Now this, when you see it, 100%, that is a flipping style bait, okay? 100%, but what I see, if we're trying to think outside the box, I see a Ned Rig bait, like straight up Ned Rig bait. I could also, you know what may be really good, not a Ned Rig? What about a Tokyo rig? That's outside the box. That's very outside the box. I could go Tokyo rig with this thing. Let's do that. Let's go Tokyo rig. There you go. We're gonna throw that thing on the Tokyo rig and see how that does for us. Oh, that's a fish. All on the old Tokyo rig. Got him. Oh, oh, he's bound up in something. He's hung up in something. I think I still got him on. Oh, I'm pulling up something. Oh, maybe that's just us moving. Oh my goodness. No, I got him out, I got him out, I got him out. Get, get ready with the net. Get ready with the net. There we go, there we go. Woo! Woo! That's a pretty nice fish right there. That is a nice one. On the Tokyo rig, got him in that little June bug color, whatever it was, I don't even know what color it was. That's the gambler flipping bait, again, Think outside the box. You can also throw that on a Ned head. Just cut it down a little bit. Anything with a cylindrical body, you can throw it on a Ned head. We got that one on the Tokyo rig. Again, something they've probably never seen before. All right, buddy, thank you. Whew, let's keep it going. Up next, we're gonna work with these Lake Fork Trophy Lures. The little Senko, or what you would think would be a traditional wacky rigged bait. And we are gonna wacky rig it, but wacky rig is too, too inside the box. We're going outside the box. So we're gonna wacky rig it on a drop shot. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can't get bit on the wacky rig on a drop shot. I've actually fished this a couple times, had some pretty decent success. Again, just doing things that are different this time of year helps get bites. You gotta remember there's a lot of pressure on the water this time of year. Everybody's fishing, it's hot. Give them something a little different. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Got him. Woo! On the wacky rig drop shot. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, barely hooked. Just came right out. There you go, guys. Dare to be different a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be like super crazy, but just wacky rigged on a drop shot. You just gotta think outside the box, something the fish haven't seen. Dude, he may not be long. He's he's a hefty little fish though. He's thick. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so here's our little red gill swim jig by Lifted Jigs. And uh, we're gonna actually, you know, again, sake of being different, I could have paired it literally with, with anything. The 10,000 fish Yoda worm, 100% matches this bait. Like that's the reason why they put it in there. These are supposed to go together. I mean, come on now. How perfect of a match is that thing? 
what we're actually going to do is use the smaller version of the biospawn exoswim so it's this little guy right here it's in green pumpkin pearl because it's a smaller hook we're going to use the smaller paddle tail the 3.25 there you go nice little paddle tail swim jig color could be better but not bad oh oh gosh there we go yeah i may need the net bud i may need the net we're gonna have to worry about the camera in a second she's coming she's coming here she comes yeah like a good year. Uh, dude i feel like i got a tire get her in the net 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 oh boy that's a big one right there dude I almost reeled it to the tip i got so excited Woo! Woo! how about that mystery tackle box look at that on that lifted jigs with the exo swim how about that dude Woo! dude how about that what do you what do you think of that guy i think she says i mean she goes five easy right oh yeah I mean that's five easy that is a that is a tank right there holy moly on that lifted jigs dude dude all right so exo swim lifted jigs again not necessarily thinking outside the box because that's a that's a good combo but definitely not using what came in the box we're not doubling up baits pays off dude that fish is thick you got to be tired you were way out there you were way out there there you go Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All we got left is the frog, I think. That's we've got, correct. yeah, so we've been out here straight up. I'm just going to tell you, we've been out here for like four hours. It's been a grind. I mean, it's, it's summer fishing. We kind of missed the frog bite early, uh, but we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a couple, like maybe, maybe 30 or 45 minutes more on the frog. And then we're gonna probably going to call it. So let's get on the frog. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Unfortunately, we were not able to get a boat in on the frog. What? You said get a boat in on the frog. Okay, good call. Thank you. But unfortunately, we could not get bit on the filthy frog, or I guess we did get bit. We just didn't get it in the boat. I tried fishing in the back of pockets. We just don't have a lot of grass line or lilies or really any like real good froggy areas on this lake. So I knew that one was going to be a, be a tough one. And uh, then I just wasn't able to get it done. But I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for letting me take over the channel today. If you enjoyed this video, let them know. Hit the thumbs up button, get in the comments. If you want to pick up any of the baits that I used, they're going to be found in Shop Carl's, um, especially those baits that I added to the box that would have been like the Exopod, Exoswim, and that VMC Tokyo rig. If you want to, please head on over to our channel, Be Fishing Outdoors. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, check us out. And if you want to cop your own Mystery Tackle Box, you can do it for as little as $10. Just hit the link in the description. There's going to be a code down there. Mystery Tackle Box is going to do it up. And as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can keep getting more of these tips and tricks. And uh, I think I think me and my camera guy, we're going to get back on the water. We're going, to, we're going to lay on some fish. So hop on over to our channel. Check us out. You guys have a good one. Later.